For today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to recreate this classic sheer glam makeup look. This look is incredibly easy to recreate using very few products that you already own. Before we get started, if you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, hit the subscribe button below and let's start by talking about the type of products that we'll be using today. So blush tones are the main focus for this look. So pinky beige toned blushes, bronzers, and eyeshadows, and also on the lips. So all the shades that we're using are in the same nudie beige toned family, which is great for the cool and neutral skin tones. For warm golden or olive skin tones, you may want to choose more of a golden undertone. And I'll focus on that in another Monday makeup lesson, but you can just follow along with your chosen tone. So let's zoom in and start applying. Starting with the eyes, I'm taking an eyeshadow brush. I'm using the E45 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics, and this will be the only brush that we're using for this eye look. I've primed my eyelids already with some eyeshadow primer, so the lids are now ready for eyeshadow. I've chosen a beige tone, at least one shade darker than my skin tone. I find at least one shade darker is enough for this look, so take a look at your own skin and choose a matte eyeshadow at least one shade darker. Dip your blending brush into the eyeshadow, tap off any excess, and we will be slowly building this up, so less is more. We're going to start in the crease of the eye and blend onto the lid. So the best way to apply this is to actually hold the brush quite low down on the handle and keep your hand low on your face as well. So we want to create a blurring effect. So you're almost buffing the eyeshadow across the lid, but you barely want to touch the skin. Let the brush glide over the lid and don't apply too much pressure. By doing this technique, you'll see that the eyeshadows fade from the crease upwards towards the brows. And it's a very effortless way to create a blurring effect. Next, I'm going to take my blush for sensitive eyes using eyeshadow. I'll be using this blush later on my face, so this will bring the entire look together. So taking the blush, I'm going to focus on the outer half of the eye. This will add some depth and tone to this look. I'm still holding the brush quite low on the handle and my hand is still quite low as I blend this. Going back to the original eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this under the eyes and for convenience, I'm using the same brush. So I press it down to create a fan and then I glide this under the lashes. Obviously you may want to use a smaller brush like a pencil brush or a flat brush. That's totally up to you and the type of brushes that you have available to use. Once I apply this eyeshadow underneath the eyes along the lash line, I then want to readjust the brush and hold it in the center of the handle and sweep around to blend the eyeshadow out. I want more control, so I'm holding the brush a little higher. This will also prevent me from blending out too far outside the eye shape while still allowing me to create that blurry blend. Bear in mind, I haven't actually picked up any additional product at this stage. The only other eyeshadow that we'll be using is a bronze tone with a metallic finish. So this is a shimmer that will add some depth to the look. This eyeshadow should be at least two shades darker than your skin tone with a lighter shimmer finish. I'm going to apply this using my fingertips and I'm starting at the lash line and then blending across the lid, focusing mostly on the center. Next, I'm going to apply a thin layer of black liquid liner. I call this invisible liner. It's really just about darkening the lash line and thickening the look of the lashes. You can use brown for a softer look, though I do like to match my mascara with the liner. So if I'm using black mascara, I would recommend using black liner as well. For the face, I'm applying a sheer layer of mineral foundation, which is a powder. I want my own skin to still show through, so a sheer amount of coverage is all I need. Once my base is on, I'm going to move on to applying those beigey pinky tones. So I'm going to start with a matte bronzer in sort of a beigey tone. And I'm going to use this to create some shape and then I can go in and add the pink tones and work around it. To apply this, I'm using the F37 blush brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. You want a small brush that will give you control that isn't too firm. So I'm starting low on the apples of my cheeks and I'm swirling this in small circular motions working upwards towards the top of the ear, and this will lift the face. 
though you do want to adjust this depending on your face shape. If you need help with that, definitely let me know. Once again, we're building this up slowly. So with each new application and each new pick of a product, I start a little further away from the apples and this will just avoid applying too much bronzer on the apples because we still need to apply blush. I'm gonna bring this up around my forehead and you wanna adjust this depending on your forehead shape. For instance, smaller foreheads, you wanna keep it really close to the hairline. You don't need to add too much shape. It's just about adding some balance. For shorter foreheads, you may wanna focus on the sides and avoid the top. Long, focus on the top and avoid the sides. It's all kind of trial and error, but a little goes a long way. Now I will be taking some blush and I'm mixing three different tones together. Try mixing your blush bronzer together with a touch of your highlighter if you don't have a blush palette like the one I'm using here. And I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks and just a touch on the nose and softly blending this out. Again, adjust this depending on your face shape. For example, long faces may want to start on the apples and blend outwards towards the ears. Rounds may want to start lower on the apples and blend upwards towards the ear. If you need help with your blush application, you can always message me on my Instagram. For the lips, I am once again keeping the same beigey pink family by mixing a cream peach, pink, and a touch of concealer together to customize the perfect beige shade. And I'm using a pencil brush to buff this into the lips for a softer finish. So rather than the color sitting on the lips, it's buffed in. And I can always go in with lip liner if I need to sharpen it up afterwards. I applied lashes and added some jewelry off camera and I do find that this adds something extra to the look. And now I'm gonna go in and apply some fake freckles. And I found this Urban Decay Liquid Brow Liner. It's just great for this. Apply a tiny dot on the center and then just press to blur it out. Seeing freckles through your makeup gives the illusion of a very sheer natural skin. I finished with a setting spray, which I couldn't be without. The right setting spray can do wonders for your makeup look. So I would recommend adding one in if you don't already have one. And there we go, that's the finished look. If you enjoyed this or learned something, definitely leave a comment or you can press the like button. I would really appreciate it. If you wanna see more of my videos, you can click the screen now and definitely let me know the other type of videos you'd like to see. Be kind to yourself and I will see you in the next one.